Hey, let's look at an equilibrium and let's give the value of Kp and see if we can't figure out what the value of Kc is. So here's a reaction here. So 2NO plus O2 in equilibrium with NO2. And uh, it's got an equilibrium constant in terms of pressures of 2.2 times 10 to the 12. So we can say that is a very favorable equilibrium constant. We're going to have a lot of products, very few reactants at equilibrium. And maybe we want our equilibrium constant in terms of molar concentration, so Kc. So if you remember from the last lecture, Kp is related to Kc through this expression here. So it's equal to Kc times RT to the change in number of molecules of gas. So remember, that's the number of gas molecules on the product side minus the number of gas molecules on the reactant side. And so uh, in this equilibrium here, we've got two molecules of gas on the product side. We've got our two molecules of NO2. And on the reactant side, we've got two here and we've got one here. So that would be three. And so delta N gas would be two minus three and that is minus one. Now, one thing to watch out for in these reactions is that if this was say a solid or a liquid, right, we're not gonna include this in the change in number of molecules of gas because it has to be a gas. So if this were a liquid, this would be two gases and two gases and zero gases. So it would be two minus two, which would be zero, which would mean Kp and Kc were identical. So so now we're ready to find Kc. So we want to rearrange the equation. So Kc is equal to Kp divided by Rt to that change in number of gas molecules. Kp was 2.2 times 10 to the 12 R. So we've used different gas constants throughout this chapter here. And uh, because we're dealing with gases and because we are measuring the pressure in atmospheres, that is a hint that we should be using the gas constant in units of atmosphere liter mole kelvins. That also reminds us that the temperature probably needs to be in Kelvin. So 25 degrees C is 298.15 because we don't have any decimal places then, just 298 Kelvin. And we're gonna raise the whole thing to the minus one power. And uh, again, if we go ahead and we do that calculation, we're gonna get 5.4 times 10 to the 13, which makes sense because the equilibrium right up here in terms of pressures is very large, which means we're gonna have a lot of products at equilibrium. And if we again, we switch to a molar concentration view, then again, it should still be large. We're gonna have a lot of concentration of products at equilibrium. You might say, wait a minute, what about the units? So where are the units? We have obsessed in this course about units. And it turns out that KC and KP do not have any units. And the reason for that will be become clear in the next set of videos. So you'll just have to wait, but trust me, KC and KP do not have units and we'll see why later. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.